Centipedes have to be some of the creepiest insects I've ever encountered in the great outdoors. But just because they're creepy doesn't mean they're actually dangerous. In fact, centipedes have no intention to do you any harm. They don't consider you a food source, and they certainly don't want to risk their own life just to cause somebody else harm. Crawling around with all those creepy legs, centipedes fall in the myriapod family, an ancient family of creatures consisting of different members such as the roly-poly, the woodlouse, and the giant isopod. Centipedes don't have actual fangs, they have forciples which are modified front legs used to grapple prey and inject venom, paralyzing its prey and allowing it to eat its meal. Centipedes are actually quite docile. They don't see you as a food source so they're not very likely to bite you, but they will defend themselves so holding or forcefully holding a centipede is the surest way to get bit or injected with venom because they're not fangs once again, they're actually modified front legs. Now, a centipede bite is actually pretty painful, but it's not very likely to be a deadly bite as very few species are actually considered deadly and in very few instances people have died. However, you still want to treat these creatures with respect because these creatures are actually some very important creatures in our ecosystem. They feed on small insects like roaches, flies, ants, beetles, and even spiders. So they have a very valuable role in our ecosystem. 40% of species are undergoing dramatic rates of decline around the world. A study says that ants, bees, and beetles are disappearing eight times faster than mammals, birds, or reptiles. But researchers say that some species, such as houseflies and cockroaches, are likely to boom. The general insect decline is being caused by intensive agriculture, pesticides, and climate change, two of which are proven to have a human correlation because some are still in denial and that's not just a river in Egypt. But honestly, it's obvious. There are hundreds or even thousands of theories as to the reason for global warming. Hey, at least we can agree the globe is warming. This has happened before and before that and even before that. Like phases, they come and go like fashion nowadays. You see, the history of the earth is divided into eons which is often used to make a humorous rhetorical statement to describe a long ass period of time. Scientifically, it represents 1 billion years. Here's a crash course. 14 billion years ago, the Big Bang happened. Outward it expanded, creating the Omega Centauri, then the Andromeda Galaxy, Milky Way Spirals, Alpha Centauri, the Solar System, Eventually, the earliest life, the earliest oxygen, atmospheric oxygen, eventually sexual reproduction, which led to the earliest plants in the Cambrian explosion, <laughs> then the earliest mammals. Our Earth is 4.5 billion years old. We are so fortunate that we are able to see different possible outcomes, and we predict them. Here is one of my predictions. There will be more wildlife per acre on the land I live on than when I bought it. I live in Florida. My land is immediately surrounded by trees. Surrounding this, there are fields and fields. And wait, there's some green. This is a Santa Fe River, a strip of land that thanks to regulation still remains less devastated. But this is Memorial Day weekend. cell phone tower. This is herping in the city. Sorry. Welcome to the city. This is the heart of our colony. My colony. These trolls fantasy. So many different species still exist in this territory. I'm constantly saving stray animals. They are refugees forced to live in our colony. Crossing streets, relocating honeybees. It was said I need a 4K camera to capture these indigenous species. Scorpions, wasp, bees, centipedes. Now my 4K camera has been delivered and all my videos will continue to get better. We know global warming is caused by emissions when our atmosphere is full of greenhouse gases. 
Methane is a big one created from farm animal grazing. The other is carbon dioxide, which trees combat with photosynthesis, in turn storing carbon and releasing our so very precious oxygen. Common knowledge, right? Well, that's a crash course if it isn't. I have a possible solution. I'm not a genius. I actually heard this from another person. Earth means the planet we live on. It has a second definition. It literally means the ground we walk on. The soil, the foundation of our existence. When we build anything, a house, a business, relationships, they require a solid foundation. A lack of ground cover like trees and plants sterilizes our soil with UV radiation and erosion. Agriculture leads to soil degradation. Trees hold soil in place and clean the air we're breathing. Watch Beespiracy, we talk about desertification. However, it's very easy to overlook our foundation. I'm talking about the trillions of microorganisms teeming in every small section of Earth, our foundation. Some of the same organisms that terraformed our Earth and the same organisms that in the past, when left unchecked, caused one of our mass extinctions. Millions of years ago, our atmosphere consisted of around 30-something percent oxygen. At this date, we have around 20 percent oxygen. That means there was up to 50 percent more oxygen in our atmosphere. And large fauna were able to get large because they had more environment, more plants, more trees. Scientists are now saying that large fauna like rhinos, elephants, hippos are going to decrease in size by 10 percent in the next couple decades because of a lack of vegetation, a lack of natural habitat, and a lack of humans doing anything to help save it. I'm not saying that we're not doing anything. I'm just saying the rate of progression of our advancements has taken a huge effect on our environments and it's up to every one of us people to help save it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and hopefully we'll see you next time in the great outdoors. I'm your host Alex, the Florida Wildlife Guy. Damn, big ass snake. All right, man. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, so if you like this video, be sure you hit the subscribe button and hopefully we'll see you next time in the great outdoors. Everyone wants to save the planet. I know we can do it. We, we are, are the many. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the colony. colony. Together we have the power to improve our planet. Don't ever underestimate it. The tools are right in front of us. It's your heart and mind at your fingertips. And now we have the connections. We're building a team with a mission. All about conservation. Communication around the earth only takes seconds. Together we will change this planet. All this talk about extinction. So many good reasons to listen. Our existence. Grow a garden and reduce your dependence. Put native trees and flowers in it. Bees, Bees and butterflies, butterflies pollinate them. Seeds fall and create new plant seedlings. These plants take in carbon and create oxygen. That is a step towards a solution. That is your power in action. Making a difference, you have our support, friend. Thank you for every moment you listen. If you choose to, thank you for your subscription. I put everything into this content. So it's our one and only planet. All the support, I truly appreciate it. Your love alone makes it worth it. I've been stung over a dozen times. I'm not sure how many different places by over a dozen different species, most with similar reactions. We must respect these bees for pollination. A little sting that is nothing. That's just their form of protection. We live in a colony. Are we really that different? New videos here every Thursday. That is my commitment. If you have the power to do something positive, you have the responsibility to do it. Well, I said it. I guess I'm obligated. I convinced myself and I'm excited for the changes. We need to be self-aware and stop waiting for legislation. Because growing more food means less pesticides to produce it. Which means more pollinators like bees will not be affected. Growing our own food means an opportunity for you to teach a child what real food is. Because growing food for you means less fuel for transporting it. More food for you means less greenhouse gases. More food for you means less pollution and fertilizer in our water systems. Welcome to the great outdoors, friends. Let's make a difference.
every day a new adventure, a new creature. Shows like the crocodile litter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then you 